Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Crabboard back again with another video, okay? Today we're gonna be doing how to mix vocals that are very quiet for the people who don't want to be too loud and obnoxious like myself sometimes, or maybe you live at home still and don't want to make too much noise and your family to find out you're swearing. Now, we're not talking about a whisper. We're talking about like a, a, just a low voice. Like, you don't want to really be too loud and you want to do something. Whatever. We're gonna try it. Also, I'll warn you, I didn't really sleep at all uh, last night, so I might slur some words and I might miss some some things, okay? But anyway, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe if you're already subscribed, notification bell as well. So never miss a video that I post. Also, make sure to check out my description down below. A lot of sweet things down there, like preset packs, all my equipment, all my new music, which, if you guys enjoyed the new song I posted, thank you. A social media in five, all oh, a distro kid link for 5% off. Put your music everywhere. Anyway, record vocals quietly. Let's get in the video. So anyway, we're gonna record some quiet vocals and mix them to the best of our ability and make them sound okay. I wrote something really quickly just to have something to base it off of and I'm just gonna record very quietly. And this beat was produced by Snooza. Gotta love YouTube, check it out. Before we do this, if you're gonna be recording quietly with the interface, take the gain knob and just turn it up. Not too loud, cause then it sounds really bad. Gonna be so quiet, yeah. Tell me where to go, where to go Baby wanna get it, but it don't right now. So I already tried this with a different vocal, and I got this from it, but I'm not gonna show you what that is. I'm gonna go from scratch, but I am gonna use the same plugins. All right, this is what it sounds like dry. I don't normally play anything dry, but. Tell me where to go in the go light. Baby, wanna get it, but it don't right now. All right, it's very quiet, it's so quiet. You can't even hear it, it's like a whisper. So how will we mix this, right? When you edit something, let's hit the uh, solo. We gotta find that pitch correction first. So to find that pitch correction first, pitch, pitch correction, mono. Now I have major, F sharp for this, but that's just what I got. What I recommend to find it is just use guess and check. Basically just use major scale or minor scale and check every route to see which one works for you. But anyway, we'll do a 15 response time so it sounds like. Oh, I'm gonna be so quiet. Yeah. Tell me where to go in the go light. Next, we want a channel EQ to clean it up. You have to pick the frequencies that kind of counteract the quietness, right? So in my voice, when I speak low, it is a very bassy thing, right? So what we do is this. Yeah. Let's grab the red. Tell me where to go in the go light. Baby, want to get it, but it don't right now. 200 is a good spot to put it, especially if you wanted to remove basically all the low. Tell me where to go in the go light. Baby wanna get it, but it don't let's right. Do a, let's do a shelf at 250, okay? Just to take a little more low out. We'll make it negative three. I'm going quick here, people. Right now, I'm coming back at you from the future, okay? When I do videos off the top of the head, sometimes I make mistakes. Maybe 200 is a little intense. You could also put it to 100 and leave this at 200 so it's not fully taking out all your low vocal. So you could do it like this or like the original way I just did a second ago. Now back uh, to the present. Um, Tell me where to go. Uh, go ah, ah. Tell me where to go in the go light. Always take away negative two from 500. I'll do that every time. Hit the green to 500, bring it down negative two. And then we're just gonna take the blue to 75 and we're gonna raise it four. Baby wanna get it, but it don't right now. And we're gonna grab this last one and just cut it off at 1500. Okay, the channel EQ we added did this. It, yeah. Tell me where to go in the go light. Kind of thins it out a bit, but anyway, next level, we'll compress it. So to get a compressor, you got to go to a dynamics uh, compressor mono. And within it, we're going to click the good old the studio FET. It's more rugged. It's a little louder. Turn auto gain off. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do before I do it. I'm going to try to get the needle to stick between negative seven and zero. So turn auto gain off and I'm going to play it and then edit it while it's playing. Tell me where to 3. go 1 in the go light. Ratio. Baby wanna get it, but it don't right now. I just free Yeah. Tell me where to go in the go light. Baby wanna get it, but it don't right now. We're gonna make the attack a hundred and the release two hundred. But it don't right now. Alright, that's basic. Alright, so it's pretty simple. It just goes to negative seven, as you see what I did there. Maybe we'll make it a hard distortion. And then leave it at that. Threshold negative twenty-seven ratio four point eight, make up zero, attack hundred, release. 180 or 200, whatever. Next, we need a multipressor to change some frequencies again. Dynamics multipressor, mono. So I want to keep it consistent and do two drops halfway and then raise too high. What I did there was I didn't space these out. I dropped the one negative 10, dropped the two negative one, and raised the three five, as well as the four 10, which is a lot, which I might take it down to like five. So they're both the same. And then since we raised the high so much, let's bring a de in. So it is in Dynamics de 2 or one. 
mono, and we're going to find the easiest one to use, so maybe uh, male vocal, wide band, don't know. All right, next we got to add some flavor with a delay and a reverb. So we're going to go with the tape delay, which is in delay, tape delay, mono, mono, mono. To show you what I just did there, with the tape delay, we have a one-fourth dotted, okay? I usually just listen to the song, and I just check each one, and whatever one matches the tempo, I'll pick. Low cut 580, high cut 5600. Dry is always 100 if you want your main voice all the way there, and wet is the effect. So 30% of it's there, so it's very in the background. Feedback is 16, that's how many times it'll repeat itself. We'll keep it at 16, because that's not too bad. It's like one delay. I'll show you what it sounds like if you turn it up. Yeah, 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 Tell me where yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens. We'll make it 16. Now, finally, for it, we want to we want to reverb. So what we're gonna do is go to reverb, silver verb, mono stereo, and we're gonna try a hall. Try a hall. We just clicked the top and went to hall, so that's just like the preset. Size change to 80, dry 70, wet 20%, wet is the effect, dry is how much your voice is there. We took away some of the voice, so it's less up front and more in the background. Low cut 410, high cut 6000, I didn't change that. And then close it, but you're not done. All right, well, if that made any sense to you and you enjoyed it, if you don't hate me at this point, let's freestyle and just make some stuff up and demonstrate what you can do with what I just showed you, so. for me hope you guys enjoyed that video as was learn something as well i know this video might have been all over the place and not as controlled as my others can be i wanted to make this video and explain it somehow because i know it's a topic that was always on my mind as i was making music through the past years for anyone with a home studio this is ideal if you want to be quiet not annoy your neighbors or annoy your parents or maybe even hide then the fact that you're making music that's what i did so anyway like i said before make sure you haven't already subscribed notification bell as well also my description is chock full of sweet things that'll help you and me at the same time anyway this has been a crowd but how to mix those quiet vocals and logic pro 10 you only stock plugins and like always we out.